it's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and it's Aldi Let's Party Christmas food to show you today. Now I picked up a massive receipt because I did my general shopping at the same time. But all of this food, everything was £1.99 each. In my Aldi, it was on the end of the aisle, big freezer full of Christmas party food. It's November 2023. It's what to be expected. So I thought to myself, let's pick it up. Let's put some of it in the oven and let's give it a review. So we have some hot and spicy chicken bites. 15 minutes, 16 minutes in a gas oven. We got some green jalapeno cheese bites. 13 minutes in a gas oven, or you can air fry all of this stuff is. Uh, this product is suitable for cooking in an air fryer. Please refer to the manufacturer's instructions for your air fryer. Now, if like me, you've had an air fryer for two years or so, you're gonna know how to use an air fryer. You're gonna think to yourself, you can probably chuck a lot of this in for 10 to 15 minutes and it will blast it in the air fryer. Uh, burrito bites. Burrito bites. They look interesting. Nacho chicken bites. Satay chicken skewers. And, whoa, I like the look of this. Indian snack selection. You got some onion bhajis. Vegetable samosas and vegetable pakoras. Mmm. Fantastic. All of this, £1.99. Or I'm going to check the actual Indian stuff because I think that might have been a little bit more. No, no it was £1.99. All of it, £1.99 each. That's fantastic. Right. Here comes the rain. I'll go and get cooking and I'll be back when everything's cooked. Right, this Aldi party food is ready. It's just me on my own, so I'm not going to review like two of everything or three of everything or four of everything because, well, it's not a like an eating challenge channel, is it? It's just a kind of like, is it worth your money food channel? <laughs> so without further ado then we've got it all out let's work out what is what by the pictures on the boxes let's start off with a a vegetable samosa now this is fresh out the oven it's going to be boiling hot but it looks good nice and crispy Mm. Oh, that's good. I think with these samosas, I like to cook them so they're crispy. I think they taste much better when they're crispy, when that fat is starting to kind of like crisp up. There's a little bit of Indian spice in there, which is lovely. Mm. It's like an Indian pasty. There's some carrot, some potato, and some spice. What's not to love? A bar of samosa. That's really good. That's really interesting. Really tasty. And again, for Maldi, relatively cheap. Oh, hot. Hmm. There's 
There's some lovely Indian spices in our little nibble, in our little bite. Oh, potato and the carrot makes up some of that stodge for you. Yeah, it's a good, I mean, a samosa is a samosa, isn't it? It's a bit like me standing here talking for eight minutes about a regular pasty. It's a really good tasting samosa, samosa as is a, a, a really good tasting British pasty. Let's move on then. This is the, uh, let's have a look. No, the satay chicken skewer. Let's try and pull some off and show you some of that heat. Um, ooh, now. Now, this is interesting because normally I struggle with the texture of leg, thigh, wing meat. I'm normally just a breast man. But I can tell you right now, this is either leg or wing or thigh. But it's blooming good. It's blooming good chicken. There's some spice in there. Oh! No, it's chicken breast. It, it, it doesn't have the consistency of chicken breast, this. I must be honest. It's a bit like tough bubble gum, which I then think of thigh meat or leg meat or wing meat it doesn't have the consistency of of chicken breast but it's good there's some spices there it's pretty tasty i think the point is with aldi and i i mentioned this to the, to the lady on the checkout we got chatting. She said, you're the reviewer, you're the beer guy. And I said, yeah, yeah I'm the beer guy. She said, what have you got to review this week? And I showed her the party food. And I said, I do food as well. And she said, why are you doing the Christmas party food? And my simple answer was this. Or my answer was this. And my answer was like, there's still people out there that may shop in your traditional Tesco's or, you know, they treat themselves or Marks and Spencer, that sort of thing at Christmas. They buy their party food and, you know, it's a little bit more expensive, isn't it? I said the point of these videos that I make with the Aldi party food here is that if you've made that decision to, or if you're about to make that decision to shop for Christmas food in Aldi, then it's not bad. It really isn't bad. It's like, if you've got that thinking in your mind that, that Aldi food and Lidl and all the other kind of discount chains are somehow kind of inferior, then you'd be quite wrong, actually. You'd be quite wrong in thinking that because most of this stuff, I'm going to, I almost, well, the moment I put it in my trolley, I knew it was going to be a pretty decent standard of food and it is it's turning out to be decent food right what's next then green jalapeno cheese bites that looks like this one let's get straight in then oh oh, oh um oh That's like a cream cheese. Oh, slightly sour cream cheese with some jalapeno and a crunchy bready edge to it. That's pretty good. Pretty good. 
let me get some of that look at you can see it there's the there's the cream cheese there mmm again fantastic few beers job done few proseccos few martinis few baileys at christmas this is the type of food you're going to be kind of like you're almost going to be hankering for it when you get to it right nacho chicken bites that is gonna be that one so got a nacho kind of crispy crunchy edge to it it's cheesy mmm that's interesting. 60% chicken breast. I'll be honest with you, I'll show you the chicken. It looks a little bit gray. I don't know if you can see that there. It looks slightly kind of off-white, slightly gray, but I mean, it tastes good. That milk, it's like a milky, cheesy, cheese powder sauce taste to it but again it's pretty good right we're going to go back to the um, Aldi Indian food box here because I got a choice now between an onion bhaji or a vegetable vegetable Bakoras and it's either going to be that one or that one. I reckon that's the Baji. Let's take a look. I'm only guessing mine. Yeah. A little onion badgy bite. Again. Pretty good. It'll never be to the standard of your Indian takeaway. But if you're buying this off the shelf in the supermarket for a Christmas get together, this will very much do. It's quite tasty. A little bit of lemongrass, your Indian spices, yeah, pretty good. So this must be the pakora. Let's get into this then. I'm not sure if I've ever had a pakora before in my life. Mmm. more bready more doughy more bready like a dough ball like an indian flavored cinnamons and spices and gingers but like a like a a dough ball that almost wants to be dipped in some indian curry sauce very good hmm i like that right I'm actually filling up. I started, it all looked a bit meagre, didn't it, when I started? But I'm like, ooh, I'm starting to think, oh, I've had enough food now. Um, burrito bites. Should we try the burrito bites? That's going to be this then. Let's get in. A bit of rice. Mmm, tomato-y, 
rice. Ooh, it's hot. That's quite hot. That's quite warm. That's that's hotter than the Indian food. Mmm. That's got a really small oh, blooming egg. Where did they go? Mozzarella cheese, chili, risotto rice. Oh. Oh. They they are good. They are really good. Really good. The creamy, cheesy, nacho-y kind of sauce with the the rice. And then the chili, the chili burn on those are fantastic. Really good. And that leaves me with the last thing. A hot and spicy chicken bite. And I'm wondering if the burrito bowl is going to be hotter than this because, well, there was a bit of heat to that. Nice white chicken on the hot and spicy chicken bite. Is it really hot and spicy? Mmm. It will probably do. Oh, yeah. As I was talking then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mmm. They have got a kick to them. They really have. Hot and spicy chicken bites. They're good. Right. So I could break this whole all down with individual scores and individual ratings. But I think you get my drift here. If you've not stepped into the world of Aldi yet. And, and if you are of that kind of inkling that... You know, do I want to impress my Christmas guests with Aldi bites? Then please do. Please do. <sighs> Those chicken bites are spicy. Because I will be doing that. I have a Boxing Day party every single year. where I invite my sister, my sister's family, her husband, my mum and dad. We get people in from everywhere and the house is full. Absolutely chock a block full. And I will be after this review buying a ton of this Aldi Let's Party for Christmas food for £1.99 a box. And I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be happy. It's all good food. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily meal and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.